Imagine slipping into a capsule in Los Angeles and surfacing in New York 30 minutes later. Forget airports. Forget traffic. What if travel didn't just get faster, it got redefined? What if cities, work, and life itself changed because distance simply disappeared? Welcome to the dawn of the Hyperloop era. The story begins not in a lab, but in a white paper. In 2013, Elon Musk released this Hyperloop Alpha concept, a tube, near vacuum, and pods racing at up to 1,200 km per hour. The idea? Travel with the speed of flight, the convenience of a train, and the footprint of tomorrow. But it wasn't new. Engineers had dreamed of vacuum tube travel for decades. What changed was the ambition and blueprint. At its core, tubes with near vacuum pressure, magnetic levitation or air bearings, and pod capsules propelled by linear motors. Why vacuum? Because air resistance kills speed. Remove most of the air and you saw. In 2017, Hyperloop 1 achieved a full systems test in a vacuum environment, proving key subsystems worked. Think zero friction, near flight speeds, and energy powered by the sun. But progress isn't linear. The steel cost per kilometer, regulatory hurdles, vacuum safety, they matter. Europe's longest Hyperloop test track recently opened, 420 meters in the Netherlands. A milestone, but miles from a full network. Still, the vision remains, weekday commutes turning into lunch breaks in other states, airports replaced, cities reshaped. 